hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we've got a very famous guest no guys i am not famous like please help me no we've got a lot of drama here with us today with aunt oh, so mr so unfortunately Guys, <laughs> Kanisa is like let me be frankly honest with you. So in February, um, when I moved into my place, I wanted to have you on my channel. Oh wow! Yeah, and after and then I checked out. <laughs> um, I spoke to my friend and I was like, oh, I'm like, what do I say? Like, Kanisa just dropped an email. I said, oh my god, get out! So which I chickened out, it was my fault. Mm. I chickened out and I was like, hey, we talk like it is what it is if it happens. And finally I have one on my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm and at the time it was a lot shorter as well. It was your if we wouldn't invite him or young guys. Oh my god. Bad bad. <laughs> So I'm very excited to have you on my channel. Um, she has a channel. Um, do I talk about your channel and the kind of content you create? Oh wow, guys! I feel like this is so awkward, but anyway. <laughs> so our channel is a family channel. Um, we feature our kids as well. We talk about relationships. We talk about our work. We talk about family dynamics. Um, we talk about careers. Um, we generally just talk career. about life. The career is well. I love that video because I could relate to Zola so well, yeah. right? Yeah, so crazy. I learned a lot from it. And so, anyway, so in this video, we will be talking about hair. I did promise you guys a hair video, um, but I also want you guys to get the perspective of someone that is fairly new in the natural hair industry, and also just to make it a bit more relatable. And you'll tell me what your hair routine is, mm -hmm. what you're finding difficult, and we maneuver our way through that. <laughs> So guys, please don't judge me. I know that people that follow this channel <laughs> are natural hair gurus, guys, Yayazi. And people that are like that know what they're doing, really. They do. I mean, look, we learn this. I, I can't even say I know what I'm doing. No, babe. I promise you, I learn something every day. True. I'm always reading. I'm always researching. I, until I get to a point where I, I feel like I can master every single hair type and everybody's hair. Mm. I'll say I'm a guru. Until then, I'm still learning. Makes sense. Now, I will not I will Yeah, now I will See, I call Wawasha. The one month, the next month, see, I treat that. The next month, and the other look. The next, and the other. Yeah, we always change, you know. True. So, I'm new. Like, I have, I've had natural hair since 2016. Yeah. And then, um, like, my hair was big, like, it was a fro. But back then, I really didn't know what I was doing. I would add butters and oils on my hair without spraying it with water. I would wash it and leave it without adding, like, doing the lock method. And it would dry out. It would break. My scalp was always flaking. Yeah. Yo, guys, it was the pits. But my hair grew, funny enough, because it has no really. My mom has a lot yes, of hair. Yes, and jeans play a big role. Right? Yeah. They, they really do. So my hair was always growing. People would always ask me, was it in the sun? Don't you in Zakwa? And I was just like, back at the back of my mind, I don't even <laughs> know what the heck I am doing. I am just doing things. I'm just putting oils and whatever. So I, at the time, I was using Native Child, right? And I was actually a Native Child ambassador. But then... I didn't really know what I was doing and it came to a part where like it was a self-actualization thing of like girl you don't even know what you're doing <laughs> you're just using the products I'm just Dabbing using the everywhere. products you know and dabbling everywhere without yeah. knowing what I need to do for a um, hot oil treatment what I need to do for lock method moisture treatment mm -hmm. and all of those things like I was just washing my hair and putting sheer butter and going on with Perfect. my life. And that was it. That's the first thing. The second thing is that um, with my first pregnancy, I shedded a lot of hair. Are you serious? Yes. Like I had to cut everything and go bald. Like I removed 
all my hair. So this, see what? this is new hair. Where do you do it? Does see what? Zawa and then I do have a lot of moms on the channel actually that um will tell me that they hair and I mean I, I don't even have babies yet, so I, mm. I never but I do kind of follow um mommy natural hair influences and they'll ask me you know my hair fell out because of pregnancy mm -hmm. or they, after they gave birth and i never know how to say like how do you grow your hair back because this is all i do no after i gave birth all my hair at the back fell like it just i had a bold not a bold but like short and even here at the back they were all gone like to the point where even a person like all of the times or one of what is going on? I remember going to the hair salon, you're finally breathing. But it's a say what is happening with your hair. Like, my hairstylist was so concerned. Because I'm about my hair all. And they had never seen me like that. So here, and then Apa. And the problem is that this part, this hair for me is very soft. Yeah. It's like a bag. My me too. So girl, Apa, Zazi corner, and then Apa getting down. Zazi I'll sh send you a picture so that you can add it and show the videos. Video. Um, but it was bad. So this is new hair that recently, it started growing last year. So last year I shaved all my hair. Mm. And I was pregnant again last year. So when I was pregnant, my hair was still growing. Yeah. And now this is like new hair. And now I've just fully immersed myself in learning um, You're doing a great how job. to take care of my hair. You're doing a great job. Thank you are. You. Thank you so much. So what do you do? So how's your wash? What does your wash day routine look like? <laughs> Guys, okay, what I do, man. I haven't been using shampoo ever since I started watching your <laughs> shampoo thing. Because I haven't found a shampoo that I'm like, I'm happy with. Yeah. Because you said a shampoo should not foam up and... It can look... It not can. can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not unrealistically. And then? Yes. So, so the Vana one that I use, which is the only shampoo that I use, the one for it, products respond weirdly to different people. Right. So for me, it doesn't foam at all. Okay. But for Lerato, it foams. Okay. And the foam also, it doesn't strip your hair with natural oils. Okay. It just depends. That's very it can foam, as long as it's not drying your hair out. Yeah. So for now, like I use um, apple cider vinegar to wash my hair mm -hmm. and then, and I don't use it, like I don't, I don't spritz it on my hair. I do it in the shower. Okay. okay. So like, once your hair is wet. Yes. And then I'll just put some apple cider vinegar. Then once that is done, I will deep condition my hair. Okay. Right. And detangle. Now I've got my heat cap. I started using it this week. So that's what I did this week, guys. That's how I washed my and hair Afro this Amari week. <laughs> An Afro Amari heat cap, guys. So I, I detangled, washed my hair, detangled, and then I put in my heat cap, mm -hmm. right? With the deep conditioner. Yes. I didn't put in the leave-in conditioner. Okay. I know that some people use the deep conditioner, rinse out, and then put in the leave-in conditioner, and then put in the leave. You don't do that either. No, I didn't do that okay. this week. So, and then what else did I do? And then I left it in for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know if that is the right time, but I was in a hurry because we had day night. <laughs> so, but it was like warm. Like when I took it off, my hair was quite warm. So when I took off the heat cap, it was warm. So then I washed it out and then I did the lock method okay. after that. So I sprayed my hair with some aloe juice mixed with water. I added in some oils, which was avocado oil and sweet almond oil mixed together. Then I added a cream and a butter. A curly cream? Yes. And a butter. I don't know if that's good. You are doing great. I was like, you like I'm done. I'm not sure if I have a routine. Thanks to you. Like, so. You are doing great. And how are you finding the aloe vera juice? The aloe vera juice has been really treating my hair amazing. Makes it um, It makes it soft and it makes the color of it like... Like I don't know how to explain, but it looks like... Oh, like Got it looks that. darker because it's more hydrated. Yes, yo, I, I, and I love the energies, guys. I even hid it. 
because I was scared that they're gonna take it and clean. And the one that I got was the one, um, just the one liter one from yeah. Pick and Pay. I think oh, is it? Came. Yes, Pick and Pay stocks. I don't know they have. Yeah. So, what have you found to be one of your biggest natural hair challenges so far? Ooh, time, guys. Time, mm -hmm. time, time, time. Like treating your hair requires a lot of time. Like. I've got kids, I've got work. <laughs> so sometimes it gets a lot when I'm in the bathroom just doing my hair all the yeah. all. And so that's like, Baba, you've been in the bathroom forever. Wow. Please come. Like, so that is a challenge for me. Time. And um, what else can I say is a challenge? What just you not being invested. I use my, what do you mean, the product? Or do you use your fingers? Do you no, use, use a brush. brush? I use a brush to detangle. I feel like my hair is too short to start um, finger detangling. Finger detangling. But what was doing, and I feel like they do need a little bit of more detangling. Guys, I'm so harsh on myself. She's very <laughs> harsh on herself and on her hair. So am. if you could give, you, you are what I would call when I when my hair was your leg, okay. the awkward leg. The awkward no, the awkward leg. It is. So you can't do I couldn't do high I halves. Have. Um your hair's a lot healthier than mine was. Is this, it? Yeah. At this um, oh yeah, sure. Oh. Sure. So You're making me feel so much better. No, your hair's very healthy. You couldn't even see my coils when I was at awkward leg stage. Really? Dead serious. You I'm so So you're doing myself. really, really well. Have you tried co-washing at all? Nope. Nothing. So what's the one thing you've done so far that you'll vouch never to do again? With your new hair? Hmm. What did I do, Ganene? I did, like I left my hair without moisturizing it for a week. Like I Zoma. just... No, that's a nonsense wash and go. <laughs> Every day, man, and wash and go and wash and go. Just to get it out of the shrinkage stage. Because when you wake up and sleep, like, is it shouldn't get it. So I'd be like, oh, let me just, you know, wash it and then leave it so that they come alive. Not moisturize it the whole week. It's man, is it flake? I can walk with it. Hey. Greener, breaking. So that those, that's like one thing that I've done really, really badly. And also not spending enough time reading, watching videos. That's one thing that mm. I've done, like, which is bad. Also, like, writing things down, guys, like, of the products that you need to buy. Good. That is the one thing that I've started doing now, like, but... You need to pay attention. It's literally like it's school. Educated. It is school. So it's cool. I get that in my comment section a lot that it feels like they're at school and they're learning about natural hair. It is. Nancy, you yeah. need to go to the government or do They educate their natural hair. Like you not going. You need to put a DVD. <laughs> oh my goodness. And how do you feel about shrinkage at this point? I'm happy with it. You before, can wear it in I can absolutely wear it in shrinkage stage. But like before, I was very like, your hair needs to be like, mm. you know? So now, like, I just wake up in the CM17. If I know my hair's moisturized, I just put it's water fine. and then de um, But before, like, it wasn't a normal thing until until I started reading more about normalized shrinkage. Normalized shrinkage. Normalized shrinkage. Yes, 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 yes. Normalized shrinkage. You know how many people um, think that there's something wrong when they spray water on their hair and trees? Mm. They think I get so many DMs on. I do a lot of guys. I, I'm not even just a natural hair nose and hair therapist. My therapist because and I get it. Like mm. I get it when your hair is at an awkward length. Or you're spraying your hair and you're not getting this big poofy afro. And it's one of the reasons why I stopped stretching my hair for quite some time. Mm. Um, my hair would always be in shrinkage. But even my shrinkage to other people is big poofy hair. Yeah. So um, I do a lot of... People will say, oh, you know, okay, I've spritzed my hair with water and it's in, it, it keeps shrinking. And I'm like, you should be grateful. Mm. Because shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair. But not everybody knows that. Not everybody... Not everybody knows that an afro is a good afro as in beach. Not everybody knows that your hair is still good if it's not stretched out. Because even the stretching all the time actually causes manipulation and damage. Yes. 
feel like everybody knows that that's why I'm here. Because when you stretch your hair out, right, it's like as straight and, uh, and then you'll see them. Much. Even my stretching is not stretching, stretching. Like, I'll, for example, to achieve this hairstyle, I had twists. Okay. Um, so I sleep in twists. But I'll spray the twists with water. So obviously, if I spray the twists with water, it will shrink to a certain extent. Mm. Um, but I can't just... My hair just gets too dry if I, I, I leave it. If I just undo the, the twists as are, and it, I stand a chance of my hair breaking as well. Interesting. So I can't fully, fully... I, I don't think I'm comfortable with fully, fully stretching my hair. Like, just proper. proper mm. Like, that's how long my hair is. It's oh. so long. It's grown. <gasps> Yo, it's grown. It's grown. So, so it's grown. As long as you have a healthy hair routine, as I asked you about yours, mm -hmm. mine is exactly the same, by the way. So I deep condition once a week. Then I have my heat cap, drink it out to the lock method. My lock method is water. I'm so nervous to say this, guys. I have stopped using <laughs> oils. Not that I've stopped, but recently I'm not using oils as much. Okay. Because the butter that I'm using emulsifies enough for me to just, you know, when it seals in the moisture. Um, so that's my hair routine, once a week, done. Um, another thing that I started doing, because I, I'm a very lazy natural, like... You said that in your other video. Oh, I'm, there's, I'm a very, very lazy natural. There's lazy naturals, mm -hmm. and then there's me. I'm a very lazy natural. But at the same time, I always want my hair to look good. Mm. So if my city, I've washed my hair on a Sunday and it's now like Thursday or even coming the following Monday, I skipped wash day, I'll just split my hair with now to the lock method again. Okay. Without my hair being washed. Okay. Mm, it's not the best thing, but my hair still looks healthy and it's still being moisturized, still being hydrated. Mm. Um, and knowing your hair routine and knowing which products click with your hair and getting it, I think for me is more important than how big your hair has grown or how stretched out it is mm. or, oh my goodness, now it's shrinking or, and also when you spoke about, um, I forgot to ask, when you spoke about your hair shedding um, after you had your baby, were you sleeping on a cotton, cotton pillow case? I was using my satin oh. um, bonnet to sleep with. I bet in sound, guys. Pregnancy does that though. But it grows back, and it's just hair. Do you know what else I did wrong? You know that type, don't do mm. So I would do that every day to work. And you're not supposed to do that hairstyle every, every day. Every day, yeah. Yeah, so that's one thing that. Because my hair was already at a vulnerable stage. Yeah. And I used to do that almost every day because I had work yeah. and I wanted to look neat and everything. So then I think that played a role in also. Yeah, like it's in it shedding. In your this off topic, in your workspace, because mm -hmm. I I don't I not corporate it. Um, do you find that wearing your hair in a specific tamed hairstyle with your afro is considered neater or? Um, I don't think so here because I don't work in a formal environment. I work work in the advertising industry and we're quite like casual people. Mm -hmm. But I was just enjoying. Like it being tied up yeah. that way. I don't know why for some reason. But like I just kept and like I was enjoying it cool because mm -hmm. I think it had grown to the point where now I was like, oh I can do like, like a, a pony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I abused it. Like I did it every day. Yeah. Literally every day. And then afterwards I was like Someone said that you're not supposed to do this hairstyle every day. Like even if your hair is not bad for your hairline as well. Sour guys in your lizard. Gone. Do you do anything to treat your what I be? Like if mm. it wasn't <laughs> Don't finish your sentence. <laughs> what would I be? I know, right? I think even just the YouTube space, um, the influencer space, and, and I said this to you that there's always something that I'll take from you and there's always something that you'll mm. take from me. Um, just life in general and just with content creators as well because you'll find that all the questions that we answer are questions that are people that people are really afraid to ask that is very true yeah. people are really <laughs> people are like, oh, I know, I know. she looks like she's got it all together right. 
But like, that, I think that's how I was nervous to approach you for my video. I was just like, yo, like, I am the most yo, I was just like, like, human being, guys. God, I'm happy. <laughs> but your hair has, guys, if you scroll down, down, no, down, 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 so down, 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 from my Instagram page, when I started following you, I, I, I think that's the reasons why I wanted to do your hair. I was you like, do my hair though still. I'm like, serious. I'm allowed I'm to learn anytime. Like, more about Give what me you a have day. To say. And I'm, I swear. I'm really? serious. Dead serious. Next video, guys, she's doing my hair. Next video, I'm doing her hair. I'm so excited. Yeah, no, I'm so ready for it. So I think, so if you scroll down, and I think that's the beauty of the natural hair journey, is actually watching your hair transform to a healthier state. Mm. Now you're starting to see your coils. Now you're like, hmm. Now I'm doing this different. I've just learned about detangling. Mm. I've just learned about deep conditioning. I've learned about heat caps. Like you always constantly learning. And that's why I say that well, I can never be, well, not never be, but I am not a natural hair guru yet. There's people that study this thing. Really? Mm. But you know a lot, which is really, I read. Really like, that's why I, I think that's why I love my job. Mm. And I love the content that I create because I never get tired of reading about it. Wow. I never get tired of watching videos. There's an American YouTuber, she goes into the scientific, like, the scientific ways of even just the, the way our hair grows out of our scalp and why our hair is curly and why um, Caucasian people have straight hair. Like, she goes into the science and, and the molecules and wow, she goes in deep into it. Mm. And I think that's why, because I, I was like, I can't keep telling people with the sulfates, parabens, and silicones thing. I was like, I can't keep telling people to not use these three things. Yeah. I don't even know what they do. I'm not one of those. Mm. So I'm like, hey, what do they do? Like, I never, ever, ever get tired of reading about it. Wow. That is amazing. I wanted to ask you, what is to co-wash? Co-wash means to condition a wash. So what do you do? Do you just condition a wash? Yes. Deep, so, um, what's this? Leave-in conditioner. No. What? So I'm so glad you asked me that. <laughs> so there's three things that people always get confused. It's a deep conditioner. Okay. It's a leave-in conditioner and it's a conditioner conditioner. Yes. Okay. So a conditioner conditioner you can use to co-wash. Okay. So the Afro Botanics conditioner, uh, the poultry syringe, the one that I'm just messed with. Okay. That you can use as a co-wash. And what okay. you do when you co-wash is it's like you'll use your apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. you'll apply your, your conditioner, mm -hmm. you'll detangle, you'll work it in, you rinse it out. That's what co-washing is. Oh, okay, cool. Detangle, um, rinse it out. And it's important if you're going to choose to co-wash to use a very hydrating conditioner. That's why I like that one. Um, as I am also has a co-wash. Um, but you can use more or less any conditioner or any natural hair brand that has a conditioner. A leave-in is a conditioner that you leave in. But you can't use this conditioner and leave as in a leave-in. Mm -hmm. yes. So a leave-in is a conditioner that you just leave into your hair. Normally it adds more moisture um, to the hair. Use it for a wash and go, or if you can uh, apply a leave in, or you can even use it for the lock method. Some people use it for the lock method, it just depends. And then Sorry, a deep conditioning is just the treatment. Okay. Sorry. So you can use a deep conditioner, rinse it out, and then put a leave in conditioner. You can. Okay. It's not wrong. Okay. I used to do that at okay. the very beginning of my natural hair journey. I stopped doing it because I found that applying too many products in my lock method weighs the hair down. Mm. That's the only reason why I stopped doing it. But I think in my lab, it just depends which <laughs> which brands you're using. Mm. And if the brand that you're using is compatible with your hair. So at the moment I am using a leave-in. But it's a it's a it's not a leave-in conditioner, uh, she calls it a leave-in curl primer. So oh. I'll use the leave-in and then I'll use the butter. Okay, cool. And not the oil. oil. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Wow. So next time I'm doing your hair. Please. Uh, very, very oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Really? Yes, I've never had anyone touch my natural hair and treat it. I've had someone touch at the hair salon to yeah. braid, but no one to like say, okay, cool, so this is what you're doing to the hair, and then. Okay, that's our next oh video. Oh my god, that's so I'm excited. ready. I feel like I'm so deep because I'm not being touched up. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Right? Ready. Okay. Thank you so much for finally joining me and my channel. And the K Mongo family. Finally, so host. Right? Dude, I feel like I'm my skin. Yeah. 
<laughs> and, and then it was all so nice. It was amazing. Nice. It was lovely meeting you. It was lovely meeting you. We clicked you. instantly. I left the house nice. like. Should I get a drink? Oh, I was so nervous, but she's so sweet. We oh, really could. Thank oh. you. Thank you so much for having me there. Thank you. And thank, thank you to so Pam. Pam right. underscore M U A did our faces. Check her out on Instagram. And please go to Babara's um, YouTube channel. It's Babara Andrana. She does amazing videos with her amazing hubby, Mr. Mutati Song, um, and her amazing cute little boys. Thank and you. it just came on yeah. the sad. But thank you so much, guys, for subscribing. We still on road to 10k. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Please. Don't forget to please go subscribe to our channel. Follow her, Valentina, on Instagram. Subscribe. Thank, thank you, so you guys. Much. I love you guys lots and lots. And thank you so much for being part of the K1 family. Mm -hmm.